The new game maker is here. Version 2.3 is out now and it has a lot of new exciting features. We have a sequence editor where you can make animations. We have new GML features such as structs, methods and classes. We also have an animation curve editor. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at all of these features. I have videos on each of these features in this playlist. So you can click here and open it up and you can watch it later. The first and the most exciting feature is sequences. This is an animation editor where you can make anything from small animations to full cutscenes. You can also create static scenes so you can design your HUD here or your main menu or you can design for example the pattern of incoming enemies. You can also do basic audio sequencing to create custom sound effects and you can place sequences inside sequences so that means you can make some quite detailed and complicated animations if you want. Sequences can be placed inside rooms and they can also be created and controlled at runtime so you can use them in different ways. And now we also have animation curves. Here you can simply create a curve with many points and you can also have different channels in the same curve asset. These can be used in sequences to make smooth animations and they can also be used in GML at runtime for basically anything. Let's come to the GML changes now and the first one here is the addition of functions or methods. You can now write functions like this instead of having to make a script and these can be created inside objects or inside scripts where it creates a global function. Now another very important GML change is the addition of structs. So this is basically a group of variables that can be stored in a variable itself. So for example, you can make a struct with some regular variables, some functions, and you can also have structs inside structs. Now with structs, we also got constructors, which is basically a function that creates a new struct. So this is sort of a template or a class for creating a new struct. So you can have some variables and functions in this constructor. And when you use it with the new keyword, it creates a new struct with the same variables and functions. Now we also have try catch blocks. So if you put something in this try block and it throws an error, then the game will not crash and you'll instead get the error in this catch block. So this way you can deal with the error or log it or do anything you like. There are also a lot of changes with the asset browser. So you can place any assets anywhere and you can delete any folders and create your own and you can color your assets and you can also give them tags. There are a lot of big and small changes. So check the description for more info and links to know more. As always, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.